shut up compressor. Swing it around and play on the top side some more. So on the top side, what I've done so far is I've really been focusing on the multi-gray and a little bit on the multi-white or the whatever. Yeah, it's multi-white. Uh, basically, zoom in again. Basically up here around the fireball stencil and kind of right on top there, you can see it's very subtle. And then on the front portion of the wing here and then kind of out this way. So my goal with this is just introducing little random grimy variation that we can follow up with with other stuff. That's about it. Why don't we go ahead and do starboard wing over here so we can knock that silver out while we're at it. So basically just Similar to what you've seen before on the underside. The gun door gets its own treatment. this around a bit. Okay. It's time for some stippler. Now this multi gray and multi white Mr. Weathering Color stuff is interesting because it, in some ways it behaves very much like oils, but in other ways it sets a little bit faster so it's you're not waiting as long. It goes on nice and thin. Very transparent. You kind of shape it after the fact, which is nice. Okay. There is the starboard wing. Okay, we're doing some top of the starboard wing now. It's not exactly rocket surgery. Now out on the outer wings, this will just provide a nice level of just stuff happening basically. And on the inner wings, it'll provide a good basis for more crud and groundwork and things, or not crud and groundwork, crud and you know, foot traffic and things like that. It's something I uh, prefer to do with this that I've kind of discovered just the way it sort of sticks a little bit is to work kind of panel by panel. I feel like it gives a bit more uh, forgiveness that way. I don't know if forgiveness is the right word. Or maybe like doing a few panels at a time. But this stuff definitely shows a uh, border on where you're working it. So you don't want to go too far. Create a big old mess that you have to deal with quickly. 
again, it does sort of stick a bit faster than oils do, so be sure to keep that in your calculus as you're doing weathering with it. Oh, it would help if this was in frame, wouldn't it? There we go. All right. Now we're going to do sort of this triangle panel here and the aileron. Do the triangle panel first because it's a pretty big area. I'm trying to vary up the tones just a tiny little bit here. See what's happening here, how it's making it all sort of a bit more unified, a bit more grungy looking, but it's not really changing too much. It's exactly what I want. All right. Cool. Okay, I think we can call that wing done with the gray and white. It's looking pretty decent. And with that, I think I'm going to call it a night and we'll pick it back up in the morning. Okay, so the fuselage has received gray and white Mr. Weathering color, pretty much as like a general grunge coat. And now it is time to start adding some actual wear and tear through browns and blacks and things like that. And so this is going to be much more targeted. And for the start, I'm going to focus on the wing root areas. So, you know, where foot traffic would fall, etc. Let's get rid of that little piece of phlegm. Okay, so I changed my mind. We're going to do a little bit of black Mr. Weathering color before I switch over. I 
Not a lot, just a tiny little bit. Cool. I'm gonna get the other wing root, then we'll be switching over to the good stuff. 